In this video, we'll look at how easy it is to create a total station emulation survey style in the Trimble Axis version 2020 software, and how you can use that survey style to do simulated instrument setups, topo surveys, uh, staking, and, and uh, other uh, useful features. So uh, to begin with, we've opened up Trimble Access. It's opened up to its project management screen. And what we'll need to do to begin with is just go ahead and hit the three little lines in the upper left corner. We'll go right straight to the settings menu we'll go ahead and grab Survey Styles. In the Survey Styles menu, we're going to go to the bottom of the screen and select New. And we'll give our Survey Style a name. I think I'll call it Total Station oops, Simulator. And we'll tell it that that style type is a conventional style type. And we'll go ahead and accept that. That'll bring us to where we can change the settings. And the only setting we really need to change here is the instrument setting. So we'll either click on it or you can hit edit in the lower right. And the default is a Trimble instrument, but we'll click the drop down to the right of that and we'll select manual. Now there's some other settings that you can mess around with too, but we don't need to bother with that. So we'll just go ahead and hit accept. I'll go ahead and store my new total station simulator style. And we've now created that. Now let's use that to create a simulated instrument setup, and then perhaps uh, we'll do a topo on a couple of points. So we'll escape out of that. We're back to our project management screen. I'm going to go ahead and open up my project number one. I have several jobs that I've created previously. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and create a new job. I'll call this job number four. And I'll go ahead and just kind of use the settings from my last job that I used, which is appropriate for where I am. I'll go ahead and enter that and accept it. So we have a blank job. We have no points in this. Uh, so uh, what I will do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and do a simulated instrument setup. So to do that, I'll hit the three little lines in the upper left. I'll go ahead and I'll select measure. And it's prompting me for my survey style. I'm going to grab my total station simulator. And I'm just going to do a straightforward station setup. So normally, if you didn't have a total station available, that would be a problematic issue. But in this case, because of our simulator, it's gone right straight into its correction screen. And I'm going to go ahead and accept those atmospheric settings. And, uh, and it's now prompting us for an instrument point name. Because I have no points in this job already, I'll click the drop down to the right. I'm going to go ahead and select key in. And I'm going to key in just an arbitrary instrument setup point. So I'll put in point number one. I'll put in a code of, uh, let's say, nail, and I'll put in an arbitrary coordinate. Let's use 5,000 on the northing, and we'll use 5,000 on the easting, and I'll put in an elevation of 100, and I'll hit enter to store that point. So I've got that point stored, maybe just so you can see it on screen. I'll go ahead and do a zoom all, and I'll put in a simulated instrument height of 5 feet, Always like to check my settings here. We'll choose true height for that. And I'll put in five feet for our instrument height. So we've got a simulated instrument position. I'll go ahead and accept that. And now it's prompting me for a back sight. Now there are a number of different methods and different things that we could do here. I'm gonna choose angles only in this case, but uh, I'll give a back sight point name of two. And maybe I'll put in another, another nail as my code. I'll put in a back sight height of five feet. And I guess I'll put in an azimuth of zero to zero set that back sight. And, uh, and now normally if I were connected to an actual instrument, what I would do is I would sight the prism or I would sight that nail and I would go ahead and I would select measure and the instrument would store a measurement. Now in this case, because we're using a simulated instrument, it's going to behave a little different. So I'm going to go ahead and hit measure. And when I do, it's prompting me to put in a horizontal angle. And I guess I'll go ahead and just put in zero for that. And I'll go ahead and enter that and accept it. And I'll go ahead and store that. And that should lock down our backside. Station site. setup completed. So now I've opened the door to doing a variety of things. I could do topo surveys. I could do staking. I could do whatever I want. I could click through the lines up on top. In this case, maybe I'll go ahead and select measure. And I'll just go ahead and I'll go into the measure topo routine. I could choose from a number of different things. But the whole point of this is to allow you to access those screens that you might not normally get to and to look at different things like settings and options and various things that uh, normally would require an actual physical instrument. So uh, I'll do a quick topo measurement. I'll go ahead and accept the 
first point number of 1001. And I'll go ahead and pretend that I've cited a prism and I'll go ahead and select measure. Now when I do, because I'm not citing an actual prism, the software is going to prompt me to manually input the values that I want. So let me go ahead and select measure in the lower right. And I can tell it whatever angle I want. I'll go ahead and put in 45 degrees. I can put in whatever vertical I want. 90 should be fine for me. And maybe I'll put in a slope distance of 100 feet and we'll hit enter. When I hit accept, it's as if I had taken an actual measurement with a total station. And I can go ahead and store that measurement. Observation stored. And I now have that point in the machine. And I can continue to add points by hitting measure, putting in additional angles, both horizontal and vertical, and distances, and continue to explore and do things as if I observation stored so there you have it uh, hopefully that will help and it'll allow you to uh, uh, practice and check different things and and uh, and perhaps explore different screens and uh, assist others so hope that helps and we'll see you next time